I'm Dr. Brooks Robinson, founder and co-contributor to BlackEconomics.org, which is an internet portal that features vigorous analyses of Black economic concepts, issues, policies, and plans. To the most honorable Salas Muhammad, Queen Muhammad, President Dr. Mukarram, who just uh, brought me on, Pastor Brady, who delivered an excellent introduction, Dr. Broner, the producer of this summit, and even to Bevan, our engineer. And I shall I should not forget to also recognize all of the distinguished panelists for this Afro-descendant nation self-determination summit. It's obviously a great pleasure uh, and honor uh, to be here. And I'm in I'm excited uh, to have been invited to participate. I'll try to be as brief as I can be on this topic. Now, let's start by saying, in the field of scientific inquiry, probably the most important question is why? Accordingly, before we turn to the question that has been posed, how self-determination should appear to us, we should possibly ensure that everyone is clear on why we should seek self-determination. Therefore, for this segment of the summit, I'll highlight nine key reasons why it is imperative that Afro descendants, that is Black Americans, become self-determined. Afterwards, I'll touch briefly on the question, how self-determination should appear to us. The following nine key selected critical circumstances, there are reasons why Afro descendants should be motivated to seek self-determination. We'll start off by looking at number one, Afro descendant median household income for 2021 was just 69% of the nation's household income. Number two, Afro descendants' mean household wealth in 2019 was seven times smaller than the mean wealth of white households. Number three, 19.5%, almost 20% of Afro descendants lived in poverty in 2021, while only about 12% of Americans live in poverty. Right now, in 2022, only 45.3% of Afro-descendant households are homeowners, while nearly 70%, six, almost 66% of U.S. households are homeowners. In 2021, only 26.1% of Afro-descendants above the age of 25 uh, held college degrees, while almost 40%, actually 39% of U.S. residents over 20 five years of age held college degrees. Number six, on the 2019 fourth, eighth, 12th grade reading and mathematics standard assessments, academic assessments that are conducted by the U.S. Department of Education, Afro-descendant youth performed the poorest of all eight racial and ethnic groups that were tested. This is not a new uh, finding. It is a perennial outcome. This is something we should be disturbed about. Number seven, Afro descendants comprised 33.6% of those imprisoned in the nation's uh, jails and in prisons, uh, federal and state prisons and local jails in 2020, 33.6%. Yet we only comprise about 12% of the population. Very importantly, about 96% of the about 3 million Afro-descendant business enterprises are of the sole proprietor variety. Only about 135,000 of those 3 million enterprises are large enough to have employees on the payroll. And related to that, of those uh, 3 million businesses, they earn receipts of about $206 billion back in the 2018-2019 uh, year period, which is less than 15% of the 1.4 or $1.5 trillion spending power that we had at that time. Now, finally, this is number nine. We should be aware that as a result of the research performed to develop vaccines for COVID-19, scientists have developed the capability of producing individualized vaccines on demand. These vaccines on demand are consistent with individuals' genetic and biological profiles. We believe that this new technology, this new capability will facilitate the designing and manufacture of diseases to order. These diseases will kill the unwanted and leave the wanted alone. Now to the question, what will 
self-determination look like? Well, we've uh, thought about that and we've written about it in a book that we prepared a couple of years ago called Exodus, a book for black Americans showing a way out and up. But we don't have time to discuss all of those uh, ideas here. Uh, but what we want to emphasize is that all of the points that we have made, all of the foregoing points should uh, make it clear to Afro descendants, to black American, Americans, that we have many reasons to want to be self-determined. All we have to do is to develop the will. And we know that if there's a will, there's a way, and we can find the way. I'll stop here and listen as other panelists uh, express and convey their visions of what Afro descendants should have as determination, as self-determination in the future. Thank you.